what a week it has been man this week has been quite the week i mean I i'll just tell you right now so much anime comes out on the weekends like for fuck's sake saturday and friday is just absolutely crazy like there's just so much coming out on those two days specifically like monday tuesday and wednesday and slightly thursday is slightly barely anything coming out at all but then you look at you know friday and saturday oh my god like there's just so much that comes out now like this season is packed on the weekends but it's not bad it's like not a bad thing at all because hey there's a lot of good anime this season that you know i have to say this season is definitely looking to be a lot better than last season like yeah way better so, I'm here to bring you the weekly vlog, the weekly, you know, chibi vlog, and I have a couple of packages of fan mail I do want to open up and get to, but before I get to that, I just want to do some quick discussions and talk about some certain things, because I need to get the subject out of the way. So we hit 50k chibits. Wow, they just like, you guys really wanted me to do that Boku no Pico reaction. Like, oh my god. Like, just as soon as we hit 50k Chibits, instantly I saw so many comments on all the videos. Like, oh, we hit 50k. Congrats. Now, Boku no Pico, please. Boku no Pico. Boku no Pico. And I'm like, well. Okay. So, just to let you all know, yes, I will be doing a live reaction of the first episode or however it is. You know, how long it is of... Boku no Pico. So, I'm just letting you know, I will be doing it. We met the goal, the bet I made. You guys succeeded. I mean, you all managed to actually accomplish, and we all managed to hit 50k before the third episode of Fate Stay Not Season 2 came out. So, as promised, I will keep that promise, and I will be doing a live reaction of Boku no Pico. Now, the video or the live reaction actually I'll be having will be coming out probably either a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. I've yet to see it. I've yet to actually sit down and record the live reaction or whatever, but I'm just letting you know. It will be sometime this upcoming week, so expect that sometime this week. So, anyways, things I want to get into. We started... Full Metal Alchemist and Vagabond this week, and wow, just so far my impressions of both series were really fucking good. I'm, I'm loving Vagabond, and I'm loving Full Metal Alchemist. I, I'm just gonna say right now, expect more reviews of that this week too. Also, and on top of the, that news, we accomplished a big goal this week. If you did not realize, if you didn't watch the video I posted on, it was Thursday. It happened Thursday. The video I posted on Thursday. I talked about how I received a copyright strike, and all of you with the overwhelming, a massive amount of support you all gave me in those 24 hours was insane. We managed to get that strike removed in under 24 hours, like 24 hours at the maximum. That it's fucking ridiculous. It, it it really is. Like this week, it's been crazy. Not just because of anime, just because. The support. I, I made a special video just for that, but I, I just wanted to reinstate that once again. I, I truly am thankful for that because copyright strikes can take up to like 11 to 14 to 15 days. It can take that long. It really can. And that right there, that's a long time to be with a copyright strike because, like I said, I wouldn't be able to make a video over 15 minutes long. I would not be able to, you know, let's say, put annotations on the screen to let you know if something was wrong with the video or just different stuff like that. I wouldn't be able to change the suggested video on the bottom left every time the video starts. I wouldn't be able to do that if I had a copyright strike. So, I just want to say, I I'm thankful for everybody that just went out of the way and sent a message. <laughs> I, I, I've been thinking about it for the past couple days. Like, every single day I'm thinking about just how much you all really mean to me. Like, I don't I don't think I express that enough. I, I mean, you all say I do. I just, I don't feel like I express that enough. Because without all of you, I've been fucked a long time ago. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. If it was for all of you, I'd have been fucked. And I, I just, your guys are amazing. You really are. And it's just, it's so fun getting to see this community grow, getting to talk with all of you all the time, getting to see what you all think about different episodes and manga chapters and stuff like that. It's just it's so fun. And I truly appreciate 
just everything you've all done for this community. I am. And even going out of your way, a lot of you going out of your way to give me information about certain series or correcting me if I got something a little bit wrong. Or even, you know, some cheap at stat. Just, you know, don't spoil me. Like, you know, usually when I walk into a video that's a review and stuff like that, usually I see a lot of people that like to spoil future things, especially if they're a longer reader or a light novel reader. And I'm very thankful. I am very, 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 like... Oh my god, 100% thankful, or even further than that, like 110% or 1000% thankful that so many of you do not spoil in the comments. I, I, I'm so thankful for that. I'm so happy I could venture into the comments, read everything you all say, and not have to worry about being spoiled. I, I truly am thankful for all that. Because being able to just browse through the comments of what you all think and not have to worry about being spoiled just makes me so happy. It really does. And so I just want to say that. That's my appreciation towards you. I mean, just reading comments every day is kind of like a daily routine for me. Just reading through everything and all that. Every time I'm about to go to bed, I just read through everything and all the daily comments. It's just it's so fun. And I'm just so glad you guys are like that. You just don't do nothing like that. So thank you. I, I, I just want to say my thank yous to stuff like that. So Game of Thrones came out tonight. I watched the first episode. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm not going to spoil enough. I'm not going to spoil enough. Don't worry about that. But, oh, shit. That episode of Game of Thrones. Yo. Like, oh, man. I missed it. I have missed Game of Thrones. I heard that the first four episodes of Game of Thrones leaked. I heard something about that this morning. It was on the news and stuff. I saw it, like, on CNN and different uh, websites and news articles and stuff like that. Supposedly, the first four episodes of Game of Thrones Season 5 leaked online. What the fuck? So, anyways, I watched the first episode just right before making this video, and my god, my god, that was just fucking intense. No. <laughs> it was just it was so fun, man. It was just so freaking fun watching Game of Thrones. Like, da na da na 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 I never skipped the opening song. I never fucking skipped the opening song. That opening song is just too freaking badass. Okay, so, I'm about to get into the fan mail, but before I do, I just want to make some quick statements real quick. Um, my schedule this week has been absolutely fucked. Like, I have to admit this right now. With every new season of anime, my schedule just gets destroyed. Because when new anime comes out, I have to kind of work my schedule around the new anime and manga that come out. And so, I have to kind of change my schedule every anime season. And this entire week, I've been trying to figure out a proper schedule of suiting everything up for this upcoming season. And it's been a hell of a week because, like, damn, just setting myself up, get, finding out what times anime come out and stuff like that. And trying to figure out, you know, when I need to get up or when I need to go to bed and stuff like that. It's been a hell of a week to try to figure that out. Majority of the anime this season comes out very early. Like, a lot of anime this season come out very early in the morning. Like, damn, like... Saturday, I think there's like four anime that come out in the, like at in the morning time. That's crazy. That that's just straight up crazy. So yeah, there, there's just a lot of anime that come out very early this anime season. So I'm just having to figure out how my schedule's working, and that's why I've kind of been slightly late with certain reviews this se like this week because of just trying to orientate my schedule around this upcoming season. Now, besides that, let's get into some fan mail. I have a couple of packages that arrived earlier this week. Uh, but they've been arriving slightly all week, but there's quite a few packages here. I want to open up the letter ones first, as I can see. Okay, so we have, um, let's see, two letters here. We have one from no name on it. So let's read this one first. Okay, so stamp. It just sent to me, so I don't know. Let's see what's inside. Um, oh, I see a letter. Oh, I don't want to rip nothing. There we go. Okay. And is that everything? Yeah, okay. That's it. A letter. <clears throat> Hello, Chibi. I know your birthday is in April, but I don't know when, so happy birthday anyways. Thank you so much. I've been a fan of your videos since your previous channels. I also witnessed your channel grow from 500 to almost 50k subscribers, and I got to say, your content has improved tremendously. You should be proud. After seeing the fan mail you've received from other Chibits, I wanted to send you one as soon as I could. I want to give you more than this letter, but money is tight when you're in college. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just, it's, it's happy. I'm happy enough to see these words, like I've said many times. Um, uh, anyways, thanks for being the only reviewer I know who doesn't sugarcoat anything when it comes to anime or manga. I try to be honest with all of you. If I don't like something, I don't like something. That's how it's gonna go with me. 
You either love it or you hate it. Probably why I love your rant videos. There were also videos that made me laugh, like when Achievement sent you a Hamatora manga. Lol. I'm so cruel. Either way, I took I look forward to many more videos from here on out. And please continue to be yourself. Always will, likewise. Since being yourself is what made the Chiba community grow to the size it is now. From longtime viewer and fan, Lenny. Oh, Lenny, how you doing? Oh my god, Lenny. Yeah, oh my god. Wow. P.S. You should really watch Nagi no Asakara before the year ends. Just saying. You don't know how many times Nagi no Asakara has been recommended to me, Lenny. Hey, you don't know how many times that has. Like, it's crazy. Like, I think that has had probably more recommendations than uh, Full Metal Alchemist, actually. That's crazy. It, it really is. But, I, you know, the, the main theme I can see from this message is be myself. Don't worry. I will always be here and be true to my second family. Because without all of you, I wouldn't be here. And you all deserve my honesty and what I truly think about certain series and shows. That's what you all deserve. And so, thank you, Lenny. Thank you for the message. I want to sit this letter right over there. Okay, so next letter. We have, um, hmm, just a street address. I don't see any names. So, yeah, let's just open this up. Probably a letter. Oh, man, this is tape. Good. Damn. That's tape down. There we go. Got it. Got it. Okay, the letter. And do we have anything else in here? Oh. We got a candy. What is this? White rabbit. A Japanese candy. I'll slip that side. I'll have that later tonight. I just ate, by the way, actually. Just ate some nice good stew. Uh, what's the first part of this? Oh, wow. Nice pick. Wait. Oh, okay. There's no extra page. Wait, did this rip? No. Okay, here's a... Look at that. Nice good drawing. Very good drawing. It's by, it's Snafu. It says right here, Snafu, my uh, young romantic comedy is wrong as suspected. Yahari Ore, or Snafu, I'm just going to say Snafu, not going to read out the whole name. Yukino, Yukino Shia, uh, Shita, and Hachiman is my OTP. One true pairing. I have to agree. That they're, I like Yui though. I like Yui more. I, I like Yui more of Snafu. I, I'm sorry. I'm a Yui fan. That's a really nice drawing. That's really nice. Better than I could ever accomplish. It really is. Better than I could ever accomplish. I like that. It's really nice. You know, I, I'm trying to figure out some space to hang up a lot of the different pictures you all send me. See, I've actually kind of run out of room on wall space. Like, after the Gintama, wall scroll set up like right here, I've run out of wall space. So I, I'm having to figure out where to hang up fan mail art or fan art. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to do it. One day when I figure out a room and I hang it all up, I'm going to make a video and showcase all the fan art and stuff I have. I have every single fan art letter, like, in down there on the bottom. You probably can't see that. I have a lot of different binders and folders for fan art. And so one day, I'm eventually going to hang it all up in a room or something and let you all see it. But that's for a long time for now because, like I said, I don't have any room at the moment. Okay, what's this letter say? Um, okay, I guess this is back. To Chibi, from Elizabeth. I live in Canada, so I know you have Chibits worldwide. Thank you very much. Hi Chibi, my name is Elizabeth, and I would like you to know that I follow your videos regularly, and I really love your reviews. I have added a drawing of mine, and see if you can guess what anime she's from. Snafu. Co coincidentally, for not or not, Kukuku. She's from one of my favorite anime, and I would be really pleased if you could review season 1 and 2, please. Just coming out. Oh, I'm just talking about Snafu. I'm already reviewing it. Thanks to all of you Chibi, it's constantly recommending it. You know what? I remember reading some manga named... Koko Mimi, and it's super cute. You don't have to review the whole series, just what you think. Thank you for your great work reviewing. Keep it up. P.S. The answer for the drawing is on the back of the paper. Oops, I spoiled myself. P.S. or P.P.S. Please hang it up on your wall. I know I sound selfish, so please. From your cheat. Wow. Wow. Am I a fortune teller? Dude. Like, how did I know? Like, I guess both of those. Wow. 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 Holy crap. Something must have been in my coffee to let me, you know, have foresight of this. But anyways, don't worry. I, I can't hang it up right now because I don't have any room. But as I said just earlier on, like a couple minutes ago, I will hang up all the fan mail I've received when I do get the space. Just let you know. Okay, so a short confession. I had just moved to another city because we bought a townhouse there. And at school, I was having trouble making friends. So at lunch and recess, I just walked around the school alone. I felt sad and lonely, but your videos really cheered me up when I got home. So for that, thank you. 
turn to page two. The reason I'm suggesting this anime is because I kind of resembled the character in the drawing, but not as uh, not as pretty of smart. Not oh, but but not as smart. <sighs> I, I just want to let you know something. Since you shared something with me, I guess I'll share something with you. Okay. You know, I was kind of a similar fashion. I was a very shy kid in high school. I really was. I was a very shy kid, and I didn't have many people to talk to. I, I want to be real here. I did. And I, I, of course, if someone wanted to talk about anime, I would talk about it, but not many people I knew I really liked anime, and I was kind of the loner of the school. I was. I, I mean, there's no problem in that if you are. But just remember something, okay? Even if you're a loner, or you walk, you're alone in school or high school or whatever, don't let it get you down. Because maybe it's just not the time for you to shine. Like, maybe one day... You might shine, you might find a place of your own where you can communicate and talk to people that you truly cherish. See, the thing is, uh, I've said it quite offhandedly sometimes through the journey of, you know, vlogs and different videos and stuff. What led me to really reviewing, besides wanting to share my passion of anime and manga, was to just have someone to communicate with and talk with that has similar passions like me. And getting to... Be a part of this community, our second family, and just chat about anime and manga is something I truly cherish more than anything. It really is. Because, like I said, I was a loner, and I was shy, and I didn't have many people to talk to. But now, look at this. We all get to share thoughts and communicate with people through the entire community. That is the beauty of the Chiba community. What we have created. Not just me, but everybody has created. So don't worry. If you're by yourself, you can make friends. Uh, maybe not at this moment, but eventually you will. You'll always have a time in your life where you will shine. Remember that. So thank you very much. I am going to put this to the side because I've actually already fulfilled your request. I already reviewed Snappy. I already reviewed kind of season one, and I've been reviewing the episodes since they've been coming out of Snappy season two. So I want to set this to the side. Um, next packages. We have a couple of big packages. So let's. Uh, solid bag package. Got uh, an Amazon package here, and then we have something here. It feels, feels like BBDs or something. So let's, you know what? I want to open up this big black package. So let me get my knife. Uh, feels light though. It feels very light. I mean, looks gonna be deceiving. This feels very light. So yeah. Wonder what's inside. Probably, if I had to be a betting man, it's probably a plushie or something because the way it feels. I I'm going to make my furies right now. It's probably a plushie or something very... Oh, styrofoam. Okay, something's in styrofoam, so it's probably breakable, whatever this is. Oh, wait. Is there a name on here? I don't want to rip this up yet. By Jason. Thank you very much, Jason. I'm glad I read that real quick. Didn't want to rip this off without reading it. Thank you very much, Jason. I don't know what's inside this, but I am already... Wait, there's a letter here, too? Nah, you wouldn't tape something like that, would you? Well, you wouldn't tape a letter there. Anyways, let's open this up. Ugh. Got a lot of styrofoam. Like, look at this. Styrofoam. Ugh. Try not. There we go. Oh man, I got styrofoam. I'm gonna have to vacuum this up. Crap. Some styrofoam broke in this package. Okay, so we have a. We have a. A letter here. Wait, is that all of it? Is that all? Yeah, okay. One final present from me, Chibi. Hope you like it as much as you like the Spice Wolf mug I got you. It was great seeing the reaction you got when you noticed that it what, what it was. You bring much happiness to many Chibits that don't have a lot to look forward to in life. Thank you from all of them to you. Thank you from all of them to you. Always stay the same caring person you are, Jason. And I look forward to lock in the chat with you all the time. Don't worry. It's likewise. Similar mutual feelings. So, what do we have here? I... Don't want to get styrofoam on my floor, so I'm gonna try to open this up like a surgery or something. Okay. Don't want to get styrofoam because I already got sh oh crap ton in the floor. Uh, there we go. Got that. What the hell? Is this a figure? Is this a figure? Look at that. It's Japanese. Hmm. This can't be a Spice Wolf figure, could it? I've tried to get a Spice Wolf figure for a long ass time. There's no way. They're, those things are fucking expensive. I don't want to break it with whatever it is. 
for it to be in styrofoam unless it be something breakable. Oh my god, it is. Oh. My. God. I don't want to open this. Like, I, I straight up don't want to open this. I, I, I don't want to open this. I, I can't open this. Oh my god, a spi- A spice and wolf figure. I don't want to open it, but like, I, I I can't open it because this is this is a collectible in my eyes. I'm gonna have to set this up somewhere, probably up where my figures are, where my Halo figures are. Oh my god! Okay, get okay. Let me get that on my side. I could just stare at it for hours. Okay, because that just like wow, a figure of Spice and Wolf. Holy shit! Okay, so let me just move on to the next package. Like I said, I'll be stuck on that for a while. So. Yeah, let's open up this Amazon package. Thank you very much, Jason. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, next package. Um, this is from Amazon, so of course there is no name on it until probably I get it inside of it. Uh, what is this? We got plastic. Don't want to open this up because this spoils what's ever inside. Oh, and you got a gift wrapping box in it. Okay, what in the hell would this be? Um, Dear Chibi. Long time viewer here, just wanted to let you know that you're my favorite anime slash manga reviewer. Thank you very much. Appreciate you getting me into Shigasu, My Hero Academia, and other great anime. So here's your license, Salem. Here's my license, what? What? Here's my license. Okay, good. Oh, okay, got that off. My license. What is this? No way. Bro, do you know what this is? Bro! I'm an official hunter! I got my hunter license. Yo! Yo! Dude, I'm a fucking hunter! That's awesome. It even has the, like, Hunter Hunter riding on it. Like, okay. I don't know if you can make that out or not, but that's the actual Hunter Hunter riding. Yo, it's even got, like, the scan on the back. Yeah, that, dude, that's badass, man. Oh, my God. I'm an official hunter. I can go places now. I, I don't need a passport or anything now. I have a hunter license. I, I can I can go for se airport security, can I? With a hunter license? I should. I shouldn't have an issue. I have to... One day, go to the airport, like, here you go, here's my air passport. <laughs> oh my god, is there any name? Like, oh yeah, Salem. Thank you very much, Salem. Oh my god. A Hunter x Hunter license. USB stick? Wait, this is a USB stick? Really? What? Yeah. Is it really? No? I don't want to break it, whatever this is. Well, I'll figure it out later, but official Hunter Hunter license. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a fucking hunter. Okay, so let me set this to the side. Next package we have here. Um, just sent to me. And. Uh, yeah, th there's no name on it. It's sent by Airmail, so someone wanted to get this here fast. Well, unless it's sent from out of the country. But anyways, let's open this up. <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, you got a letter? What is this? Like, let's say if I can open it. Hey Chibi, greetings from UK. I've been watching your reviews for over a year now, ever since the winter 2014 anime season, pretty much when I started my channel. 
I've stated so in another package you received from me recently, but I really like how honest you are in your reviews. After watching an episode of an anime I know you're reviewing, I immediately watch your review on it to gather my thoughts on the episode. I enjoy your theory crafting along with you, although I never comment much, and it's really interesting hearing another person's opinion on the show as I'm watching it. I re recently sent you Dusk Maiden of Amnesia- Oh, I need to watch that. It's a good horror slash romance show which is more uh, with more romance than horror. Although there are a few dark moments in the show, its, real, it's animation is really good, and the Blu-ray I sent you should do the anime ju animation justice. It's my birthday present to you. Happy 20th birthday, Chibi. This package is something I've been planning for a while, for a show I sent, see you've rated 10 on your, my anime list, and for good reason. It's my favorite anime so far, and I thought I'd get you a copy of the show just in case you didn't have it already. Cross his fingers. The smaller package contains something I no longer wanted in my collection and sent to you just to see your thoughts on it. It's a cross-dressing anime. I, I want to assume it's Mario Holic. I want to assume it's that. Maybe you could find some enjoyment out of it. I was hoping you could all answer a couple of questions. Okay. What are your favorite anime studios? Maybe Madhouse. Favorite anime studios besides Madhouse, just, you know, kind of push that aside, Afotable and Shaft. Those are my favorites, besides Madhouse. Madhouse, Afotable, and Shaft would be my three favorite companies. Studio Bones pretty okay. I do like Trigger, too. Trigger's pretty fucking badass. So, yeah, I want to add, you know, okay, Afotable, Madhouse, Shaft, Bones, and Trigger. Five favorite studios. Let's see. What is your favorite? Yeah, okay, you said studio, so I could do more than one. What is your favorite couple in anime? Lawrence and Holo. It's obvious. It's possible. Finally, do you have any particular anime artist or any theme songs you love more than anything? I mainly love Akiko Shikata. I think that's how you say her name. She does the actual opening song to Umi Nico. If you've ever seen that series, you know what I'm talking about. That opening song. Oh, fucking love that song. Freaking love that song. One of my favorite, favorite song composers. She, she's amazing. Um, hmm. Favorite anime artist. I don't really have a favorite anime artist. Um, I'm not the only one who watches your reviews. Someone else in my family does too. They would like to say a few words. You really make me laugh and I really like your enthusiasm. You brighten up my day and I enjoy your live reactions and your honest opinions in your reviews. Keep up the good work and happy birthday. Thank you very much. The Dust Maiden of Amnesia was mainly my idea because it's a mixture of three of my favorite genres of anime. Supernatural, horror, and romance. You know, I want to let you know something. Those are one of my favorites too. They're definitely one of my favorites. I wanted to send it to you so you could enjoy it as well and maybe provide your opinion in a review sometime. Like I said, all the things that you've all sent me, I will eventually review and get to in due time. I can't do it at this moment, but in due time, I will eventually read or watch or whatever you all send me. So just giving you a heads up on that. I really hope you have a great birthday and let's have a great spring 2015 season of anime. Thanks and keep up the good work, Mike. You, Naru, Kami. Oh, how you doing? Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you. Thank you so much. You, Is there any more in the back? I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you. So I want to see... Bro. Bro. Tora fucking... No Yo! Tora Nora. It's volume one DVD. Oh, God. Look at the case. Bro. That's awesome. I love Tora Nora. I love Torador. I love the ending too. I love Torador. Oh my god, Torador. Uh, we got some other things in here. Uh Oh, Torador Volume 2. So the continuation. How many episodes are on this? 12 episodes on two discs. 13 episodes. Okay, so this is the entire series right here of Torador. And we have another one. O2 Boku Maidens are falling for me. I remember watching the first episode about four or five years ago, actually. I tried to watch the first episode, but I was busy at the time. But it seemed like a pretty cool series. Like I said earlier on, I will gladly get around to watching all the different things you've all sent me once again. Now, I don't know if I will review Torador since I have watched already, but I will gladly give it a rewatch because I, I do love my Torador. Torador is pretty badass. And I just want to say... Thank you so much, Chief. It's just for everything. It really is. We got a bunch of letters here. And... <sighs> I love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what other words I can really say. You all just... <sighs> you brighten up my day. You brighten up my life. That's just what I want to say. So you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you live. Please be safe. 
Chibi out. <laughs>